Welcome back to Booty, High Seas, Low Expectations. You join us for session 12, part one. Oh my God, the gang are aboard a floating island. It's not the BBC series Noah's oh. Ark where the polar bear was in charge, but it is very much inspired by that. It's a mushroom and coral fuckfest, and they found themselves fighting for their lives in a colorful conundrum of flora and fauna. But first, I'm gonna go to Chris Trop for a quick recap from the player's perspective. Hey everybody, it's me, Chris Trot, joined by Ross Hornby and Hello. Craig Frost, your players today. Hello. And uh, in 11, uh, episode 11, part two, we had our ship repaired and it set sail. It went on its way. That's part one. Yeah, well, no, well, I'm just, yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll skip that. And um, we had a baby turtle dinner. That's also part one. Oh, we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we arrived at the Fungal Island. It wasn't as good as cooked at a restaurant because Leclerc, the chef, didn't do it, but... We met a Triton. Yep. Who came out on a little rowboat called yep. Eritre. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep. Fuck yeah. And he greeted us and he guided us on a tour of the island, told us about the history of mm -hmm. like where Tritons are buried, and that it's totally normal that the fungal of the uh, area kind of infest the dead mm -hmm. and they kind of walk among the people of the island mm -hmm. and they were mostly harmless and everything's totally fine but something's wrong with the island recently a section of the island near the top part yep the northeast uh, of the island looks, from where you've landed anyway looks a bit corrupted yep like was it you or titus that flew off into the air to have a look i believe we was it both both went yeah, up look i didn't look so I was, oh, oh like it was just me then i was going by to... how you flew i can fly <clears throat> oh, i you can, can just fly. fly now you can fly so you use yeah. a spell do you yeah, I could literally just fly. Do you have to fly spell? Yeah, I leveled up. Remember, oh, you I said it's very like useful. Four times. You said flying's pretty good. Yeah, I, yeah. I can fly too. You can't fly, people. You can't even fucking swim. Settle down. I wish he can fly. I've I can a, levitate. I've got a wish spell. That's not the same. No, you don't. Not in this campaign. <laughs> I wish there were more wishes. Is levitating the same as flying? No. No, you just go up and down and levitate. Flying. I can like... levitate. That's it. You can fly as well. I thought you took flying that last one. Take a spell list. Anyway, yeah, you flew up to the top of the canopy, you had a look, saw a manky bit of the land. Manky, um, but also we stepped into a part of the island which was way more vivid like we were taking hallucinogenic drugs and apparently that was also a byproduct of this strange corruption that's going on right mm. yeah so in a way the spores and stuff of of the um of the plants are slightly are making you a little bit high yeah yeah so the the, the mostly harmless triton husks of dead ancestors some of them unfortunately have turned a bit feral mm. and a bit aggressive because of this strange infection that is corrupting part of this sacred burial site. Yeah. And uh, we went off to investigate. I flew up in the air to check it out. Yep, look, shit looks fucked in the north. Mm -hmm. Whereas Kapipi and Tri uh, Triton Titus <laughs> uh, lay on the ground. Tritus. Carving their way forward. Tritus. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then you got into a fight. You succeeded. There was a flail snail. There was um, a flail snail, yeah. Which you also beat to death. Um, and after, you know, fighting your way out of a sticky situation, you uh, had a little sleep in the middle of a clearing that was surrounded by colourful breathing plants, which you actually slept really well. You wake up eight hours later <laughs> and you Lovely. feel like... I cut out a little hovel on yeah, a mushroom stem. There was a huge mushroom stem and you just cut a really smooth, perfect little... It's like squeaky noise. Yeah, I can imagine it's very insulative as well. Like, you know, it's like a really nice place to and sleep. I took out the whole section and it made a nice, like, cork yeah. sound. Perfect. And then I just slid. Then you cut a chair into it. Yeah. That an inflatable chair. I mean, you realize after some of this modification that this could be the best home. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you sleep well. You have a lovely sleep. You wake up. Nothing seems to have. You 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 have suspicious little like mini snail trails over your sleeping kit, <laughs> where like people like in your sleep Not things have like crawled over you. You, you knew that you, you were loving me. it. I'm used to. Trails such as this. One of them that. slid its way underneath Sword's oh. like blanket and is currently sleeping in his belly button. He's Hell got yeah. a snail trail where his snail trail is. He does. Yeah. Double snail trail all the way around. All snail trails lead to my belly button. That's true. Do you want to take the snail out of your belly button or are you going to leave it there? I have no need. I have no need. For us to part ways. You've now got an armored belly button. <laughs> Plus one AC. Plus one AC. Belly button. If they try and hit your belly button. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yes. <laughs> That's that's value. <laughs> I uh, push open because I resealed my little hovel. Oh, you with sealed the yourself door. in? Yeah. Wow, you're like, wow. that's quite clever. Like a camouflage situation. I put it back in, so I just push it back out. Yeah. And it's like oddly satisfying mm -hmm. how well it conforms. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just stretch and I'm like, guys, 
I want to live in this mushroom. This is literally <laughs> the best sleep I've ever had. It's totally dark as well. Black out when you're in there. Yeah, yeah. I cut a few like air holes. Nice. Nice. Yeah, it's and good. It smells good. Should we cook it? Should we eat it? You cut. Mm. You want to cut them at a downward angle though, so when it rains, it doesn't dr drip in. Mm. So you want angles like that. Yeah, I don't want to live in a mushroom now. This sounds great. <laughs> it does sound amazing. The smell's not the great. The smell's not good. That's probably the only part I wouldn't like. But with my horrible accident, mm. I can't smell. Yep. So. So right. where, where did you guys sleep in this little circle of area, this area? It's like a clearing, imagine. You know, how well, you thought. I was inside a mushroom as well. You, you decided to, I brush. Do you just give me a roll? Uh, D, roll a d20. Just tell me the number you get. Okay. It's a 13. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you watch what Sword has done and you think you could do something similar using a bit of magic. Yeah. Um, you, you may have to hollow it out. Anything nice. you want to do special for your little mushroom sleep? Yeah, mushroom hammock. You create a mushroom hammock. Is that yeah. between two mushrooms or within it's the between mushroom? between the same mushroom. I've managed to carve out a hammock, but... Oh, so of the, like of the hammock of the mushroom itself? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell. So it's just a bed, essentially, right. but it's floating in the air. And I, I bothered to carve around the other side of it as well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So it's just a How nice long did hammock. you spend in the night doing I've got magic, it. and that's all the... That helps. sped things up, but he did... Yeah, yeah, you guys slept kind of late because of the amount of... A lot of, of the squeaking noises. So yeah. much. Can you start with, with a pulse siren? siren. <laughs> <laughs> it does, you don't need to do the other side. <laughs> Very nice, you get a restful sleep. Uh, Lovely. Kapipi, how did you sleep? Where did you sleep? So, you know at the top of a mushroom, you have the stalk, and then the bit on the top that looks... The cap. Like yeah. yeah. I yeah. took that off, and I slept face down on the top, so I am the cap of the mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> you, you replaced the cap? <laughs> okay. Total shell. Yeah. Did that so you happen? Slept on. So I'm from inside, but I'm balancing on top of the, the stalk. Okay, that's that's fine. Just How that. high up is the stalk? Oh, like, like maybe two of my heights. Okay, so you climb up it. More. Maybe put like a little, like cut little foot footprints in, like foot yeah, holes. Just yeah. to climb up the sides. Yeah. Okay, so you've, you've slept up and out of the way, off the ground. Very nice. Luckily the weather's very, very like sort of, it's sort of its own microclimate here. It's a little bit damp, but not too bad. Um, cool, right, you wake up, do you climb down? No. Yeah, so you wake up, you pop I'm your arms and legs out, and you're like, all right guys! Um, <laughs> I need help now, all of a sudden, <laughs> right, I can't you, get down. He can't get well, down. Well, you should have thought about I'm that a, I'm, a I'm a turtle, I can't put my knees up to my chest well, to you go up there? Up. You yeah. capped the mushroom, you're a moron. You're an idiot. Can you How'd help you get me? up there? How did you do it? I climbed up. Did you use magic? And then I flumped over onto my you stomach. You didn't use magic. Now I'm kind of like just stranded. I can't bend my knees up to my stomach to stand oh, up like you guys why can. Why did you even consider doing it? I wanted to, you know, have the airflow. Normally my. It's about the airflow. I'll levitate him down. It's about the airflow. Something that Sword 100% did not have when he resealed <laughs> his. his I kind of like a prune. It's yeah. just a sauna. <laughs> Let's lift the cap. Why are you so wet? <laughs> <laughs> Such a good sleep. Okay, so you guys can either shake the, the stalk to try and knock him off the top, or you can try and use ropes or something. I'm just going to levitate him down. You just... Guys, can you... Spunking away spell slots. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, yeah you can levitate him me. down. Wait, wait, was it, it's a lower level, isn't it? I start cutting the base uh, of the stem that's my second level. Don't, oh. don't spend yeah, the spell slot. I'm feeling the, the stem vibrating. Uh, what are you doing uh, down there, Sword? Uh, it shouldn't, uh, uh, it shouldn't have to sword. cost me money in the form of spell oh. slots. Oh, here we go. I'm going to just no, push this. I was hoping you might just levitate me and down. it falls yeah. over, like, you know if you stacked like cardboard boxes full of pillows? You know, yeah. it, it's dramatic, <laughs> but there's no real mass there's to no any of it. it. <laughs> so just it's going like... to come down and land on my feet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh -huh. um, and the ground is really loamy and soft as well. Like this is, if it wasn't so damp and smelly, this it's would lovely. be such a soft, luxurious place to sleep. Um, anyway, you, you, you land on the ground, it's real soft and, and, and loamy. It's like moss and peat um, underneath your feet. So it's, it's really nice. It's, it's not very good for like traction though. You know, like it's quite hard work walking on. Not um, thinking of any negatives. This is like swords, ideal climate. Yeah. And he wants to move here. Soft and squishy. Yeah. Well, you could move here, I suppose. Anyway, I'm going to live here now. The colours. I don't of, want to go to the hall. We're going to leave you here. <laughs> Daylight um, is very much above the canopy. Uh, it peaks through, but there's not a huge difference between evening and morning. Uh, you know that it's daytime now. You slept the night, but because the canopy is so thick above all of the the mushroom trees that are below that canopy, um, it's still fairly dark. Apart from all of the bioluminescent colour coming off of the of, of the the mushrooms, right? So, you start making your way through. 
I presume you're going to be heading northeast towards what you saw yesterday. I think that's what you mentioned you were going to do last session. After I think we should move northeast. Excellent choice. Now yeah, get on this it... railroad. Oh look, a railroad. Um, with no train. Trying to leave this path. I can't. <laughs> I'm, I'm just stuck. The I sponginess of the road. Is I try to turn around, train. but the camera won't spin around the other way. <laughs> um, uh, there's nothing there. <laughs> um, right. So you guys start pushing through. You hear the sounds of parrots, of chittering apes, of bugs, occasionally large, overly large dragonflies come through. One of them hits Titus in the side of the head. Yeah. <laughs> it got you. That's you. Got me. <laughs> it hit me really hard. He gets hit in the side of the head by a dragonfly the size uh, of a cat. Look what happened to you. It's definitely you that it happened to. What, the dragonfly thing? Yeah. The dragonfly is <laughs> right, on itself, it landed on his shoulder, hell? and it is, is using, it's starting to gnaw a little bit at the side of Titus's head. I think it's parasitic. What is that dragonfly be? doing to you? <laughs> oh my god. Why is it doing those things to you? I'm gonna like, try and You've serve. got something on you! Ah! Go! Get rid of it! Stop! I don't want to use magic so early, but I will! <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna slice the. Yeah, the you want to get rid of it. Into his brain. All right, give me a hit. Roll, roll a hit. Okay. <laughs> Please don't miss. Eleven. Eleven. Plus, that sounds scary. Close. I think like eight, six. Yeah. So. Yeah, you Seventeen. Hit it. You, you, you swipe. What weapon are you using? Uh, my morning star. Your morning star <laughs> smacks into this dragon. Stand still. <laughs> and it just you hear this splelch, splelch, splelch. It's like a splash and a splelch. Yeah, that a splelch. Mm. Um, and. Uh, a bit of like the inside of the dragonfly is splashed on the side yeah. of your face. Ah, it's eating me, it's eating me, it's eating me! <laughs> Why didn't you stop it from eating me? I was. I was very much trying to stop that. I think it was controlling my mind. <laughs> it absolutely was. So, yeah, so that's happened. Next time, get rid of those. Avoid the dragonflies. Oh, Avoid the brain eating dragonflies. You're moving along. Can and I, it, before we move along, yeah. that's quite unnerving. Yeah, the, the dragonflies. That's the, yeah. that's the thing. So, I'm yeah. going to try and find a mushroom cap. That's helmet. <laughs> that's that like a fits hat. my head. Yeah, okay. Give me a helmet, mate. Um, Give me like a survival roll. <laughs> this crown isn't going to stop the next one. I feel like it's still in there. Four. Oh, that's not good. It's a four. Survival is plus zero. I got a four. Yeah. Okay. Solid All right. Four. You look around for a bit and you see what you think is a good mushroom. Here we go. Right. It's an armadillo. <laughs> you, you, you hack, hack, <laughs> hack the top off of the mushroom yeah. and place it on your head. Perfect. Right. This mushroom is red with white spots. <laughs> yeah, you start to itch a bit. Yeah, it's a little bit itchy. Why did you choose itchy. that one? Honest, why did you choose itchy. that one? Do you know? Oh, yeah. why it's you just chose... a good colour. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like a classic, classic mushroom. Classic. I think red thing, I'm avoiding red. Are you? Oh, my yeah. hands are like... But you can't tell because you've got such a low survival skill. Yeah. You think this is just a normal mushroom. You continue on your way with the itchy okay. mushroom helm. God, it's so um, itchy. However, the, the, the bugs do seem to be avoiding you. In yeah. fact, most things seem to be avoiding you. <laughs> this is uh, working really well. <laughs> really well, guys. <laughs> Apart from the increasing red. I mean, you're already red, so it's difficult to tell when you're inflamed Going a or bit not. Powerful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as you're moving through this sort of, you're, you're cutting your way through, one of you needs to be at the front kind of like hacking away. I'm guessing it's probably sword, it could be Sticky Mickey. You need to cut your way through this fauna. Um, Guys, just because my name is Sword, I don't have to be the only one doing this job. Just so you know. Yeah, but you can. I though. don't care. Yeah. Do it. Keep doing on the, it. On helmet boy. <laughs> He's hacking his way through. Um, <coughs> shroom and, head. Um, helmet boy shroom seriously, head. Seriously. Keep going. We're going there. The face Dickie is going Mickey, you color. see off to your left on this little sort of <laughs> custom trail mm -hmm. a bit of movement amongst the mushrooms. Amongst yeah. the dense mushrooms. Everything's quite dense. It's difficult to see more than about 10, 15 feet because of how densely packed all these colorful mushrooms and plants are. But through some parting mushrooms stumbles a, um, a human-sized figure. Look, a human-sized figure. Look, a human-sized figure. <laughs> Who goes there? <laughs> and nothing, they don't say anything in response and they keep stumbling towards you. Oh, this could be one of them husky things. Get your weapons out. Hey, I've already got it out, I've been slicing mushrooms for like hours now. Don't take another Fair step, Keep stand where you are. And uh, as it comes better into view from between the mushrooms, you can see it's a very old triton. It's an old lady triton. Right? Oh, do you know so this one? They're wearing, um, I don't know, do I? Like a, 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 they're wearing like what looks like a nighty, but it's made of, of 
materials that might come from the ocean, you know, so like plastic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it has to carry bags. <laughs> yeah, it's all carrier bags. Wow. She's got like a... Such grace. A She's got a, a, a six pack, a beer can six pack around, around her neck. neck yeah. beautiful. It's beautiful. It's all of the, what they call jewellery of the sea. It's so ornate. <laughs> yeah, um, but equally, her head is cocked to the side. She's clearly an old lady. Um, curly oh. to the side. And then there's just a big old bloom of mushrooms just out of the side of her head. Oh. Um, this like, would be hard to get ah. used to. If, I, if that was like a hobgoblin and everyone was like, oh yeah, but they just like get woken up by weird mushrooms. I think she's dead. Well, yeah, obviously. Should we pluck the And she's still off? stumbling towards <laughs> where you are, ish. I don't know, we'll um, stop. And um, she starts to approach your group. How close together would you say you are walking? Um, Holding hands. Basically holding hands basically, distance. Basically yeah. all three of us I'm a bit hands. further ahead because I've been wildly swinging my morning star. Okay. All right, so we're it approaches the people you invite us for now. Hands. Skipping for along. Ooh. So we don't get lost. Oh, hello dear. Ooh. Oh, hello dear. Ooh. Oh, hello dear. What's wrong with you, Triton woman? Ooh. No response. She's dead. You're dead now. <laughs> Which means we can do anything. What the uh, hell do you mean? <laughs> As in run away. Okay. <laughs> what, what, what did you mean? <laughs> Nothing. Dude, look how old she is. <laughs> I've had my time with the old ladies. I've had my time. He prefers them living. Throw them alive and, and not with a giant mouth, mushroom out of her head. Her mouth like drops slightly and a beetle just crawls out of it. Uh, like God. a big colourful oh. beetle. How is this like a trying custom? I'm sorry. Why is it walking? Uh, we shouldn't be walking. What how the, do you have the energy to walk? Can she hear us? What's controlling you? Uh, Slice the mushroom off. This is normal, right? This is like what the guy says. I'm gonna go grapple it. She continues, you grab. What are you? Titus grapples it. Who are you? I'm shaking. Who are you? Nothing, it just, it just like. I'm slapping the mushroom. (laughs) God damn it! Just get out of this woman! It seems disrespectful. Get out of this Triton woman! This could be my grandmother, I don't know! I don't know who it is! Slapping the shit. You don't recognize her. Um, She's She's not familiar, we can hit her all once. You can tell. Um, you're slapping her around, just doesn't seem to do anything. Like she just, she's, she's on her feet, she's stumbling around a bit. Um, and yeah, nothing happens. You knock a few of the mushrooms off. Oh. And uh, bits of her start going limp because Ooh. of that. Um, but All right, let's leave him alone. Let's not. She, she let go. didn't do anything. You're and then she stumbles the back and then just this You dead should woman. leave her alone. <laughs> what I was doing was, was nothing to what you could be doing with that sword. Uh, she's harmless. And she stumbles past you through between the gap and then back out into another yeah, bush. That's one of them just, harmless ones. They could all be harmless, I suppose. No, no, but they're not. You've got they to could... check. You've got to shake them for checking. I don't think we get anywhere near them. Probably best. Oh, is anyone else itching? Has anyone got anything to wash my hands? <laughs> I'm with? so itchy. It's no, the helmet. Purple. It looks you like know? the helmet. It might be the helmet. My eyes are really, really itchy. Yeah. What you rub do is rub, rub smear yeah, your I hand over the dome. You rub it off. And then yeah. just. Yeah. That hurts a lot more. Oh. So one of these big dragonflies. Dragonfly! And tries to land on Sword's hat. And then it's yeah, get the fuck and then it, dro- it drops to the ground like a fly that's been hit with fly spray. You know, oh, they're just like yeah, in their confused. death throes, you know, like, why aren't my wings working anymore? Holy um, shit, it was so scared of my helmet. It just died. But it's going kind of nuts, like somebody's dropped a blender, you know, like I'm on the floor. Stamp stamp it. It. You're gonna stamp I'm it. trying to stamp, stamp it. Yeah, it, it gets crushed pretty easy after that. You stamp it in the head. Oh, it works. <laughs> it works, yeah. It's yeah. clear that like the helmet works, helmet. but it's also just really Sort of irritif- irritating sword. In summary, based yeah. on my survival skills, I'm pretty sure it got terrified of my helmet and just died. Right. Yeah. Are That's you worried that it might kill you eventually? Why? I'm not a dragonfly. That's fair enough. Let's move on. That's yeah. a good point. Uh, you move on through the the the, the undergrowth um, before the the thick area you've been in starts to thin, and the soil and the life in this area starts to dwindle a little bit more. The the bright colours start to change from. Vivid oranges, yellows, pinks, reds, blues, to more like purples and browns and darker greens, and the soil beneath your feet. This is, um, hobgoblins only have two colors in the spectrum, so if you wouldn't mind being. The other color you weren't experiencing earlier. Yeah. Right. I just think uh, you should be a bit more. Is it looking accessible? more glib? Yeah. It's looking a lot describe? more glib. Nice. Yeah, I'll use emotive terms instead, you'll understand that. Yeah, this is looking dreary. Thank you. Drab. Drab. Glib. And glib. <laughs> um, and uh, glib would be a good name for a goblin. Uh, glib. glib. There's still, glib there's still time. Goblin. Yeah. There's still, there's still time to meet glib. Maybe he, you'll find him marooned on a, a, a raft somewhere. Hello! <laughs> it's Sink glib. Instantly. <laughs> there he is. He looks like a glib. Uh, <laughs> so you're walking through and like I say, things start to thin. 
the, the soil looks less vibrant and nutritious here. It's more like um, bits of old trees and things have fallen down and created more of a, um, a wasteland uh, of life rather than a, uh, a cornucopia. Um, now you are getting closer to um, smoke. You can smell. You can smell the the trails of might be fires. Could be something. So you can certainly smell something on the wind that isn't necessarily natural. You smell the signs of human interference. Let's say um, as you push northeast. I smell bo. You can smell a little bit of like pirates who've been that. on ships for months. You know the mushrooms. Do you sweat? Um, no, I just smell. Oh right. Good point. Do you sweat? You're kind of all all That's in one, point. aren't you? Do I sweat? You're all kind of the a shell slash the total sweat. Even your underbelly is a, a bit Have I got a bit of leathery. slime on me at all times? Um, or not? No, reptiles don't sweat. Not me then. Stinkiest shits though. This guy. Yeah. Don't go in after him because honestly, the sky is watering. Mostly vegetarian diet. Mostly. Yeah. Unless yeah. it's veal of the sea. Which is oh, tough. I'll make the exception. I'll make the exception for something that's very, very yeah. close to we'll what never I address am. his cannibalism. Never forget. Never forget. Um, so, uh, give me, each of you give me a perception check. 11. No. That's louder. Nothing. 11. 7. I perceive at the number of... 16. Nice. Okay, Sword, your military training. <laughs> <laughs> Through your puffy, puffy ah! eyes. Like everything is swelling at this point. You see signs <laughs> of um, tracks. You, you see uh, evidence that people have been walking through here, quite a few people. Some, some sort of um, quite well-trodden tracks have been weaved in between um, these sort of mangrove-like trees. Uh, it's not watery here, it's still very much the island, but the trees have been used as cover. It looks as though many holes have been dug in uh, all over this land. So in front of you, you're probably looking out now across a few hundred meters of open ground um, with trees. So whereas you've come through and it's been thick with um, bushes and shrubs and things like that, here it's just the trees and some few mushrooms reaching above um, the, the floor of the, of, of the island. And, and this floor has been turned up, it's been dug up, it's been... And, and, and as, you've, as you come further into this area, not just sword, but you guys start to see what looks like maybe half-buried chests, half-buried barrels, uh, things that have even been quite loosely disguised. You know, the things like some bits of tarp, like stitched tarp has been thrown over, old sailcloth has been used to obscure big caches of things. What's going on here? Let's not go to it. Let's ignore it and move on. All right, let's turn back. I'm not back interested the, in any yeah, cash. Yeah, you can actually see a thing. Look at what's okay. happened to your eyes. They've what become you all puffy. I've never seen better. That, it looks like you've done something to them. No, we're over here. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're almost sealing shut. Is, is that okay? Is it that actually normal? helps sharpen my vision for some reason. That's strange. It's like it's pushing in on my eyes and the focal sure? range is yeah. enhanced. It's only really happening to the sides mm. and top of your face. Is there meant to be like three of you each? Ooh, There's no, not right no, no, now, no. no. Yes. There's meant to be, I'm pretty sure. Who said right. that? Also, yeah, that actually, yeah. <laughs> Look, as you guys you have come out, <clears throat> excuse me, if you, as you guys have come out of Spore Central, as we're calling it, you're starting to sober up. Whereas like the, the colors and vibrancy of life once filled you now, a more empty feeling um, fills you. Uh, you are kind of looking around at this dreary drab scene, but the excitement of what lay, may lay underneath the soil grabs your attention. What do you think's happened here? I think there's treasure to be had here. Why do you say that? I've had a weird come down, and now I've seen treasure, and I got really excited. Yeah, but treasure is normally like hidden. Yeah, but it's, it's kind is, of halfway in the ground. Very, little... Yeah, this looks like something's just washed up. I'm gonna go over to it. As you guys are chatting before you move, oh. you hear voices. Well, yeah, it's I his do voice. hear voices. Yeah, no, no, just leave it there. Yeah, no, he said to leave it. I don't know. We'll bring a bit hey, more in. There's people over there. And about, um, like yeah. I said, the few hundred meters you can see in front of you. It goes from trees, 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 then eventually the trees thin out and it becomes a very small beach. There's a, there's a, a five to ten foot cliff-like area. You can easily traverse it, sort of clay cliffs, so they sort of um, go up. Then the clay um, and rock stops and then it's a small bit of beach. And then beyond there, in the distance, you can see a ship. 
at a anchor. Closer look. You hear those voices? On the, on the shore, the voices sound as though they're on the shore. Maybe the ship is a few hundred on. meters out into the water. How close anchored. was the tra uh, stuff? Uh, the stuff, it's littered all over the place, to be honest with you. There's some stuff that's 10, 20 meters in front of you. There's some stuff that's uh, further out towards the beach. Let's have a little gander at what this stuff is. We'll be quiet because there's some guys on the beach, I think. Stealth rolls. That's if you want to try and do this stealthily, roll. roll, um, let's let's roll. Gonna, I'm just going to roll the dice real quick. I want to physically I'll roll. Do it quietly then. <laughs> oh, that looks low. Is that nine or six? It's a six, unfortunately. Ah, I, I just got a one. Natural Ooh, one. We are not stealthy today. Um, well, my stealth is goes over my eyes. Eight. Eight? Twelve. Stealth. Twelve. Okay, right. Um, Shit. Oh, that was stealth, yeah. I just oh. tripped, I guess. Yeah, you tripped and um, <laughs> you panic. So what happens is you try to you start to move, and uh, Sword takes one step, catches his foot foot on a root, falls forward. <laughs> onto his face and that just forces the mushroom <laughs> where, where is it had been sitting on his head it's it's forced his head into the oh, mushroom shit. proper oh. and he starts to panic <laughs> so in your eyes so you're inside the mushroom now your eyes your nose and your mouth are all inside to get the mushroom <laughs> it's not particularly loud but you can hear him panicking quite a lot <laughs> she's so clumsy he really is oh, look let's at him. lift him up hang let's on Grab him by his head I'm first. grabbing him by the mushroom. See if that hole slides off. Yeah, grab right. you grab him by the, by the mushroom, your hands instantly feel irritated. Ow. Oh, you shouldn't have touched no him with so itchy. I start Use a stick. I'll grab a stick. Riding around like a dog. And I'll uh, grab a stick and try and push it off his head. Okay. Do you right. want me to roll um, for that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just give me a straight roll. What's that there, nine? Six. That's another okay. six. That's another six. Oh my six. god, you missed with the stick. Oh, no, you try. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> Kapipi, do you want to try and help him? I think I him in the face. I'm Roll not sure. Roll yeah, your I'm slamming my head into the ground. Right. To try and break <laughs> the mushroom. But it's creating quite a hollow thumping sound, which isn't creating too much sound. Yeah. Uh, 11. You guys are fucking useless. Right, okay. Yeah. I'm going to try and kick it off. Huh? I'm going to try and kick try it off. Try and kick it off. Okay, go for it. Athletics check. Athletics check. athletics check. You can add your athletics. You're a wizard, so I'm guessing it's not high. Oh, now it's a nine. Now it's a nine. So that's different to a six. Anything in your athletics? It's a zero. Okay, yeah, you fail to zero. kick it off. You kick it, but it just doesn't, nothing really happens. <laughs> you right, Zord? I just You're like, in the head. It's like when you kick a tree and nothing yeah. really happens when you kick it. <laughs> Ooh, okay. God, it's got quite um, a spongy bounce to it. See. I mean, we could chop it off him. Yeah. Whoa, have you got a blade? Yeah. He's got the blade. Take it off him. And He's rolling got, around. What? Have you got anything to chop with? Uh, I, actually, I have a crossbow well, we take swords and a dagger. Should I crossbow you, it off? I mean, yeah, yeah, you, you both. I'm gonna crossbow it off. You're gonna try and crossbow it off. <laughs> right. <laughs> You pull. This hasn't worked right. before. But he's writhing around on the floor at this point. I am feral. Wait, so you can take a shot with acid. I have a sling. Should I use a sling, quarter stuff, <laughs> a small dagger, or a, or a crossbow? It's, it's your choice. <laughs> Hurry, he's, he's suffering. How accurate can you be? Honestly, I don't know. How accurate are you with acid? Oh, quite Whilst accurate. you're doing this, he's still writhing around on the floor. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sharp starting. Swords. We're trying to sort this out. <laughs> I just don't want to touch him. All right, use the Can crossbow. Can I put some gloves crossbow, on? Crossbow. Crossbow. Sword, you vomited in your mouth, but because I'm of the seal, <laughs> it's stuck in your mouth and you've started to suffocate. <laughs> oh, God. Quick, you use can the try crossbow. it. Right, Kabibi, I'll give you a uh, Sorry, no, Sword, I'll give you a chance to try and push this off your head now as well. Give me a straight 20. D20. Uh, straight 20. 15. Okay, right. <gasps> no. oh, breathe. I threw up in my mouth. <laughs> oh my God, it did. What oh, chunks fall out? Do I need to shoot you yet? No. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. All this puke comes out. Your your face is now like purple, <laughs> as if someone's like taken paint and just like wiped it across your face with a rough hand. So there's like a bit I think of I'm gonna die. <laughs> I think you might. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Use that crossbow. I think you got still poisoned. have a leg to keep the mushroom Look. on your head, or do you take no, it no, right I'm off? No, no. I'm trying to swipe it off. Right. Yeah. Okay. You take the mushroom off entirely. Oh, it's fully off. Okay. You um, <laughs> after he takes it off, is there any hair on your head? There was. Yeah. <laughs> You see bits of his hair have just started oh, to come out. You know, like, like it's like oh, it's like horns are looking a bit clearer. The body scratch, yeah, you scratch of horns. And just a big bit of hair just comes away with you as wow. you scratch. I don't think of very well. <laughs> no, you poisoned yourself. You poisoned yourself with the reddest mushroom. mushroom you can find. I touched it and my hands now well, it's feel not, real itchy. Let's not jump to conclusions. <laughs> um, uh, you're right. You're right. I don't know what did this. <laughs> It'd be oh. a good weapon against. The beasts, but now you've ruined your hair. Oh, you better put the mushroom back on to cover it up. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, I won't. You're right. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. What was all that noise you hear? Oh, um, it was just us. One of our mates put a mushroom <laughs> on their head. 
<laughs> yeah, it ah. really fucking sucks. All oh, right then. No, he doesn't say that. He says, "Who's that? You hear her? Uh, it's me, Titus. <laughs> I'm completely. Who's that? It's just us on this island." And he just said, "You better go back to the ship. Quick, go and tell him somebody's here." And uh, <laughs> right. round the corner. Stealth out the window, guys. Let's do this. Do what? I've got a crossbow. What's happening? They might be able I've to help. I've got a crossbow. Okay, what's happening? I've had this the entire time, guys. I've never There's told you I had a crossbow. There's people over there. Right. We, we stumbled onto this beach where you fell over. Yeah. There's stuff buried here. We were going to have yeah, a look at what it is, but we stuff. heard weird voices. But then you started shouting. I'm still going to have a look. Don't, don't say you that. You gave like, us away to them over there. They right. came over and said, "Oh, who's that?" He said, "Who he is?" And then they went, "Oh." Right. We should probably chase them then. Yeah. yeah the we corner. should. But let's check this chest. Right, round, I say round the corner. From out of view, beyond a few trees, a few hundred meters away, steps a huge figure. Who the hell's up back there then? In front of you. Hide. You want to try and hide? That's Look, awesome. I've been through a lot. Okay. Oh, are you trying to? Who's? What I, are you all trying to do? Here? I'm going to try and hide. You're going to try and hide. Roll me a stealth check. You. I am delirious. Okay. So I'm just like, I'm I'm done, mate. That's okay. a four, isn't it? Yes, yeah, a four. Yeah. Uh, you get behind a tree, but it's clear that your body <laughs> is still thin. there. There, yeah, you're clinging onto a tree. Right, you're like, no, oh, but a terrible way. Kapiti, what I'm are you doing? I'm going to try and reason with him. Okay, right, so they approach you you through the gloom. Um, Whilst the light of the morning sun is backlighting them, the canopy is uh, keeping their features quite unclear. They make the, the, they they cross the distance from where they were, a few hundred meters out of view, um, uh, within some of the other trees. You know, basically enough of the trees were there to block your view. They walk towards you, and what you see is an eight foot tall elephant man. Okay, this is uh, very tall. (laughs) Uh, they are, they've got leather bandoliers crossing their chest. Um, they are wearing a shirt, a loose shirt with, um, it's, it's white but it's stained brown for many, many weeks at sea. Um, and some trousers and, so, uh, and a big pair of boots. And they stomp towards you, dragging a chest in their hands. It's like uh, they've got a handle and the rest of the chest is heavily on the floor. And they drag that towards you and then stop perhaps 30 meters from you. Loxodon. Who are you? Loxodon. He's a Loxodon, yeah, yeah. Hello. Uh, I'm fucked. And I'm What the hell happened to your face? That mushroom is poisonous, I think. You do think? Well, yeah. I touched it with my hands as well. And Don't fine. touch it. What's that weirdo doing? Pointing He's trying to hide from me. Come out from there. No, and the, uh, the, the, the you Loxodon, can't see me. The Loxodon puts his hand on his flintlock pistol, which is... Um, whoa, 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 whoa. There's no need for that. There's no need for that. What's that you got a hand on there? Take it off. Let's, let's talk like elephant to a man. I can do that. He takes his hand off his pistol. Man. You just need to come out from behind there. You try, I'm try to jump uh, me or something. I'm not behind anything. He's I'm just, just... Hold, I'm holding it for stability. What, are you, are you here to bury him? What? No, 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 he's alive. Whoa, because I'm... Alive. I look like that other woman? Oh, I just see that the, the Triton lot, they come by us sometimes and they're usually burying someone. Yeah, nah, we're just on our way nah. through, really. Yeah, just Tourists. cut through. Yeah. No Tourists. Bur- no yeah. burial for me. Well, you've wandered on the wrong path. I suggest you uh, forget this ever happened. Well, Turn the other way. You and what army? Wait, sorry. Uh, why? <laughs> well, because um, no reason. What are you up to, Mr. Elephant? No, no, your goddamn business. And he You're puts so his hand tall. back on his flintlock. Jesus. No, no, no. Mr. Elephant Man. Yeah. Do you have a name? Yeah, my name's Marl. And you? Like Marl High Club. Right. It's not like that. M A R L. Marl. 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 Club. Right. Marl. M-A-R or? There's no goddamn fish Marl. So can you, how, how is that spelled again? M-A- I didn't hear come here for a spelling lesson. Right. <laughs> He's happy with that one. He's happy Marl. with that zinger. <laughs> <laughs> Got us. You better tell me what you're doing here or you better make yourself scarce Just before my captain turns up. Oh, we were elephant hunting, weren't we? <laughs> <laughs> we weren't really. Please, whoa, Calm come on. Down. Calm down. Whoa. We're just Where did you humor gone? I'm a local, uh, well, I say local, I'm a very well-known bard. Sticky Mickey is my stage name. You may have heard of me. Have you heard of me? Oh, uh, say you've heard we of me, do please. call it the Dockers Bay a few times a year. Uh, yeah, uh, I played at the pubs there. Quite yeah, 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 we've yeah. heard all about you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so we're just like touring the islands, basically, as a, as a trio. No, if he lives here, why have you come here? Uh, we bumped into it on the way. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were saying in the past, we had no idea this was here, and we're like, that place is like a great place to get coconuts, because we need to make some pina coladas. Right. So we just stopped here. Well, I wouldn't eat any of the food from this place. Why's that? It was weird. We've been eating everything. All the ground, soot, and yeah. what do you mean mushroom weird? spore. 
Well, the, 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 I don't know what it is about the island, but like bits of it are, are like weird, like alive, and like bits right. of it kind of like change normal. Well, why plants. are you in the bit that's all messed up and bought and dull and mm. drab? It's very glib. No reason. We just like this place. If you want, you can do an insight check to see if you can tell if he's lying. Which yeah. I kind of squeeze the pus out of underneath oh, my leg. Oh god, that's fucking <laughs> disgusting. Just go, just looking. <laughs> No, the answer four plus zero. Four. Four? Okay, well, you guys are really rolling well today. Yeah. Um, no reason. Uh, we just like the island. We like to stop here sometimes. This is our stuff. Don't take any of it. Why would we? Why is it all buried? Did you bury it just now? It looks like it's been buried for some time. Some of it has, yeah. But it's yours. Did you bury this stuff? Are you fly well, I mean, Are we going to make it worth my while if I tell you what we're doing? Oh, I guess well, you, even though you're eight foot tall, I feel like I could pour the tides all over you and electrocute you with an electricity for a thousand gods! He's Here you go, threatening people again. Where did you find this bloke? Uh, a thousand gods! <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is, if you don't keep him under control, you are going to be burying another Triton today. Jesus. It's a what? pretty big threat, and he is a tall... You see like this is the thing. right place for it, though, at least. True. Better than at sea. That's where my land is from, that's where I live. Yes, yeah, we, we got that. But there are places you shouldn't go in the sea. Like what? There's many places. Like what? Where the sharks are. <laughs> oh, you're afraid of sharks and you live underwater. You should be afraid of sharks, even if you don't live in water. Why? Because they get you. Well, not on We have actually, a fight no, with sharks. shark people. We're to avoid them. On land. The shark people are the worst. They've got an organized religion. Terrible dentistry. The teeth keep falling out. Well, they got multiple But they grow roads. back. Okay, and that's the thing to be scared of. Anyway, sorry, uh, sorry uh, Marl, Marl, yeah. Marley, yeah. So what's, Marley, uh, Marley, what's, Marley. A, what's all the, your hip happening around here? Are well, you gonna make it worth my while, I might tell you. Well, I got you no particular how about I throw in a song? No. It's better than me. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway, anyway. you can't stop me. You gotta try a persuasion roll. Roll for persuasion. Uh, 14 plus 12. Wow, 26. 12. <laughs> it already started at 12. Uh, <laughs> Please, can I, can I do a song? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. sweet, yeah, 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 yeah okay. I'm going to do a song. I need song. to persuade him to turn around and walk the other way. <laughs> and this Singing is where I was going to do an enthralling performance to charm him. Oh, yeah. To get, a, get him to tell us everything that he's okay. up to. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. How about that? Yep. So I have to do a save for that, right? Yeah, DC 16, it says. Is it wisdom? Whiz, I imagine. Wisdom saving throw, yeah, sorry. Bit of whiz. Bit of whiz. Throw some whiz in there. Sorry, Quake, it was in that 20. Ooh. Nat 20! <laughs> Put it in his um, mouth. He senses you trying to charm him. This is just a song that I've written recently. Oh, oh, oh shit, it's true. We love elephants, elephants are great. I think that's a good sign, no? Sticky Mickey. Oh, the trunks are long. We don't like being compared to elephants, mate. Not elephants, I wasn't singing about you. I was thinking about elephants. Are you trying to influence me? No, oh, no. fucking hell. I'm going to Morningstar his face. What? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to Morningstar his face? Yeah. You going to? Okay. Right. I can see this going downhill fast. So. Roll a hit with advantage because you caught him, like, you know, off guard. <laughs> sure. Uh, so that's 13, but I'm going to roll again for advantage. 17, hell yeah. Yeah. And uh, that plus my 6 is 20. Okay, yeah, yeah. You smack him <laughs> and you it. incapacitate him by swinging him. So, swords. Let's do it, lads. Let's do it. Sword takes things going awry and decides to. <laughs> <laughs> and the Loxodon just takes the Morning Star clean to the jaw and just goes down. An eight foot thing just clatters to the ground in front of you. Yeah, you know, instinctively, I'm already like trying to get his big paws. What are they called? Like. Hoofs. Pads. Pads. Feet. I guess elephant I'm, feet. I'm, I'm trying to bring his arms behind his back. Well, they do have those weird human hands locked on, so they're like four-fingered hands. Oh, they're oh, like right. Thanos hands. Right. Has he got ivory I'm tying tusks. them behind his yeah, back. Yeah, he's got tusks, yeah. yeah. Ivory. Yeah. Valuable. Burn six. I'm just like, so you're trying like, to tie, this is not, like, this is routine for me. I'm okay. just like tying him up and uh, roll him on his side so I don't throw Did up. Did he put a little loop, like a cock ring around his like trumpet so that he can't like raise the alarm? I tie his trunk. It's like gagging. In with his hands. Oh, wow. I'm kicking Trot's mushroom helmet towards his face. Oh, Takes no. my hands. <laughs> oh, the thick skin of the Loxodon, it doesn't seem to affect. Ah. I'm going to done nothing. look at the cash that he dropped. You're like, okay. all right, let's get to the bottom of this. 
Yeah. Before anyone else comes along. Like Should we start rummaging through the chest as well? This with conversation. Don't. Yeah. yeah. Well. It's too late. Okay. Let's look at the chest around us. I'm going to start rummaging through one. Just okay. So the back. chest he's carrying. Want to kick that open? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Inside. I'm going to be gentle with it, as in like I don't want to touch it. Okay. Um, it hasn't been locked yet, luckily. Uh, inside is a collection of highly sought after materials, of trade goods. So think, nudes! So, okay. Fabergé so, eggs! Locks it on nudes, um, some Fabergé eggs, silk, bolts of silk, um, bolts of uh, other rare fabrics from the area. There are bags of spices, there are ingots of metal, ah. um, all high value stuff. Oh, what sort Look, of he's operation? carrying our box, filled with our things. <laughs> You're right. That's pretty cool. That's so convenient. So we'll carry our box take and it take back. it back. Yeah. But that's one box. I saw There's a few. There's probably loads more of our boxes around here. I'm pretty sure there is. Guys. Kapipi knows what's up. I'm all for pilfering as much as the next guy. Why? That's good then. Well, Where let's is get this going? pilfering. Look, just from my experience, mm. I'm just saying, there's going to be more people. Yeah, I just want to yeah, point yeah, out, you are the one that resorted to violence here. I was trying You're to reason You're the one that did a shit song. It was alright. I was trying to reason uh, with him. It was awful. All right. I would, I I would have done another one. I did him a service it. by knocking him out instead of hearing that. It's a quiet taste. It takes a while for them to come around you to You picked the style. wrong genre. No, I should well, I think it's addictive. It's one of those things that you have to listen to and several he said, times. He said he was elephant hunting. Yeah, it's a way for reasoning. It's I don't know why. So I think he, I did the lesser of the three evils. I think he jumped the conclusions, assuming that we were talking about him. Is he dead? He's clearly not an elephant. He's not dead. Yeah, no. He's not dead. At least he does he's got a glass jaw. There's like yeah. a real like like deep snoring. You know that snore that people make would have been knocked unconscious. He's got a Hollywood knockout. Yeah. He'll be out for hours now. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Well, well, no, no brain damage. No. So oh, do we want to check the chest or not? Absolutely. And these are buried already. But all I'm saying is we've got limited amount of time and we've got to drag this big old chest. Don't have to drag anything. The Flat hole. the hole down. Oh, I mean this hole. Oh, <laughs> oh, this Did hole. you oh, forget this about hole. that hole? <laughs> oh, there's something dead in it. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, what is he chucking it? What the hell is this? It's pulled. the top. Oh. What was it? What was it? I forget we put something in there was that three guys died. Damn, I know, yeah, you put something yeah, no, in there that I can remember. That fight. Uh, huh? It was the last remaining... Snake? Was it a snake? Was it a, no, was it a snake? Or a mushroom, oh, a mushroom, mushroom guy. guy. Mushroom. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, mushroom. yeah, yeah, it's dead. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You pull it out, it's already started to decompose. Oh. It stinks That's like fe wow. festering mushroom. I forgot he was in it. He rotted really quick. <laughs> <laughs> I've slung it somewhere. And, and it sort of catches up in a tree or just ah. hangs. Oh. It's juicy. He it's wasn't that's gross. He wasn't much of a fun guy. <laughs> no. He's Same, dead. You He's made that joke. Okay. He wasn't tree. funny. He was trying to attack us. It's yeah. more like fun die. Well, now there's extra space for chests. Yeah. Why don't we just load them in and check them later? <laughs> so you, ah! Let's load them in and check them later. Oh yeah, that's a time. I'm just gonna push this cache into the hole. Into the hole. It drops in, you hear a crash, and what sounds like the hinge is busting as everything inside it, including the Fabergé eggs, oh, clatter whoa, there's the, a... bottom of the, the bottom right, of this hole. Any more? The eggs. <laughs> yes, look at some I more look chest. around at the holes. Yeah. Investigation what's, checks, all what's of nearest? Look at, I'm looking around. My eyes are open. 15 plus, what am I looking at? Investigation. Uh, 8 plus 8. Wow. Plus, how many is that? 17. Jeez. 21. Well, hey, oh, okay. Boy. Each of you look at several different caches. Like I say, there's been holes. There's and another one over here. Look. In, uh, wow. Titus, you find one covered in sailcloth. You pull it back and open it up. God, that sails on sale. Yep. Inside, <laughs> it's full of jewels. Wow, this is full of jewels. I'm going to just clamor at them and just toss them into the hole. <laughs> jewels <laughs> going in the hole. Jewels Come in the on. hole. Loot real quick, don't look around. Just do uh, this real quick. Sword, you open up one. This sweet. one is full of horns of gunpowder. So in it are dry storage solutions for gunpowder. Keep that in the chest. Keep, it up Keep, it in the chest. Throw it like, Keep it in the chest. Keep it in the chest. I should, uh, I gingerly put them in. Yeah, that's right. Like I handle slowly. eggs and groceries. You open a sack that you've pulled that's been loosely buried. In the sack are big bottles of oil. There's big bottles of oil in this sack. That sounds splendid. Whack it in. Do we need it? Mm. Gentle. What kind of oil? Vegetable, oh, olive. These are valuable oils. Oh, it's cooking oils. oil. We could do the veal oh. of the sea real nice with these. Yeah, we could, yeah, we could, yeah. We well, could. let's get it in there. Where's that hole? It's over here. Oh, it's here. Well, careful. Thank you. There's ten gun, foot drop, remember? There's, gun, there's gun I'm powder. lowering it in, remember? It's ten feet. Of course, thank you. <laughs> there's gun and there's gunpowder in there. Be which careful. is now sodden. I don't know if we needed that. Oh, it's in there now. The oil's in bottles, right? We'll dry out. Oi! 
Who's that? Right, let's go, let's go. Time to go. Who um, is it? Are they 100 feet away? I'll tell you what. The power of a thousand gods! Gunshot. Oh! Oh, who did that hit? Did you did you hear that? Oh my god! I'm dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where is that? He's been taken through the neck. <laughs> Straight through. Actually, I did legit just roll another natural twenty, but oh, I'm not going to use that as a. Uh, I wanted to more see how they close with you. You're not getting away in time. Oh, okay. okay. Initiative. Shit. All right. Oh, straight into battle mode. Oh, nineteen. Nineteen. Fair enough. Natural nineteen. Plus two. Plus two. Twenty-one, baby. Uh, Nine. Blackjack. Plus. Fuck! The natural three. <laughs> Yar! Who be stealing our loot? Says an incredibly stereotypical uh, humanoid. Uh, this is a man with a big dark beard and big bushy hair and a naturally uh, obvious pirate hat, you know, and he's. He steps up and he's got one leg missing as well, and a pirate on his shoulder and a hook on his hand. He's got a pirate on his shoulder. He's got a pirate parrot on his shoulder. <laughs> oh, with a, who's also little... got an eye patch and a little tiny hat and a little hook on one of his feet. And a miniature pirate on his <laughs> shoulder. And a tiny, <laughs> tiny little pirate on the shoulder of the parrot. I'm going to quickly grab a bunch of mushrooms and just stick it on my side of my head. Oh, okay, I'll stick like this. That's genius. In fact, in, as you'll go, you could do that. Oh, and okay. I'll give you the chance to roll a deception. Oh. Do that now, because okay. you did that pretty quick. 18. Ooh. Plus, what's the uh, set? You got one. Two, well, it's 19. Aye! Oh, and there's um, <laughs> this pirate, so uh, arrayed in front of you, uh, is a pirate captain, the one you've just seen. There is his first mate, a woman, also a humanoid. Um, her hair is long, brown, and she wears a cap, a little round cap. And she also is wearing a long leather coat, very piratey attire. She has, she's the one that shot at you. She's got a musket that she's now reloading. Uh, there's another uh, gentleman there who is a um, uh, sort of regular looking man, but very greasy. And one of his eyes is just wood. He's very, <laughs> wow. One of his eyeballs has been replaced with what's clearly just a wooden ball. Right. His hair is grease flat to his head. He wears no hat. Jesus. He has just a leather, um, like, um, lederhosen kind of thing on. Like, it's just straps covering his nips down to his waist where he's wearing leather shorts that are, again, attra- attached to these straps. And then beyond the bottom of the leather shorts are straps going down to his ankles that attach to his boots. Wow. So it's all like There's everything no is secured all, on. Huh? There's no picture for this? this no, unfortunately not. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is their of mind stuff. Straps. They call okay. them bootstrap bills. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, good. Nice. Yeah. And bootstrap then finally, bill. there is a more magical looking individual. A pirate, it seems. What could be more magical than Bootstrap Bill? More magical. Bootstrap Bill's just a kinky guy. <laughs> he's, there's nothing magical about Bootstrap yeah. Bill apart from what he can do with his tongue. Um, and okay. those straps. This uh, other person is uh, dressed in like a bright yellow waterproof jacket. So imagine a wizard's robe, but it's made of that yellow plasticky material that yeah. like deep sea fishermen wear. Yeah. Yeah. So it's got that shine, that plastic shine to it. Um, for some reason, you can tell this character thinks that that's like really novel and clever. And everyone's just like, that looks fucking weird and uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway. Made that assessment immediately. Yeah. Immediately, you're like, this is weird. Close. Nerd. So Titus, you put this mushroom on the side of your head, <laughs> and they look over and they're like, "Who be ye?" And they see their Loxodon um, shipmate flat on the floor, tied up. <laughs> what have you done to Marl? As um, as the captain stands there, not put with the a rifle, on. but with a pistol. Put the kettle and on. I want a cuppa. Hold. They, right. they just ignore uh, Titus. There's something wrong with your mate there. It looks like he sniffed a poisonous mushroom and it's fallen over. We're just trying to help him. We're trying to help him. He's fallen yeah. over after sniffing that poisonous poor bugger. mushroom. What a poor bugger. Right, Look. deception from, from Sword. Cup of tea. Shut up, you. I've got minus one on this. Natural 20, though. Whoa! <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> He, he uncocks his pistol. Look, he ain't got long. I've been affected by it too, look. Yeah. You can see the mushroom on the floor right there. That's the one that he touched. It's Ooh. bad. It'll kill him look if you my don't. hands as well. It's spreading like mushrooms. All right. Pop a brew. He tied himself up. <laughs> <laughs> Trunk and all. He's gone mad. I believe it. <laughs> all right. They're out of initiative again. Okay. He started thrashing I it. I think maybe we jumped into initiative a bit quick there. It's probably my fault. But. 
I wanted to give you guys a, a chance to, to converse. So, back down, okay? You're diffusing the situation. What is it? Are you here to bury him? Correct. Yeah. He's been yeah. buried by the looks of things for some time. We've, yeah, yeah. He's, 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 he's one team. of the walking husks of the area, you know? Uh, we were coming to pay our respects because he's recently died. He looks like he's, he's died. No friend but of he keeps ours. springing back up again, bastard. He's pretty fresh by the looks of things. Yeah. Fancy and brew. My yeah. name's Captain Panama, by the way. Hello, Panama. Good to meet you, Captain Panama. Captain Panama. Can I see your papers, please? Papers? Just double check that you're a captain. Yeah. Look There's at no my idea. hat. Look at my parrot. Also wearing a pirate captain's right. outfit. Uh, Come well. on, you can't wear this many. Are we still wearing our hats? What hats? I'll try no, I can't have hat. you. Can be if you I want. Like Man's kind of a hat. Doesn't affect anything. <laughs> I feel no, like... We're, oh, we're, what? We're what did you say? We're kind of captains as well. Maybe Sorry. Find... Bro? We were three captains. The mushrooms don't turn everyone into a doddering old lady. It was the fact that the one you encountered was a doddering old lady. That's, 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 that's the only evidence you've got in your life. That's all he's got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a cup of tea. <laughs> uh, Are you here with his simpleton or is he... He, he was our third captain. We were both we're captains equal too. captains of Common the raw dog. Ah, oh, we've got a similar arrangement. Me and Bootstrap Bill take turns. Right, yeah. well we got three different hats, you see. All ornate and customised to us. They can join together at times. Fascinating, Dave. but what are you doing here to in, in dig well, in my spot? Well, we died spot? and we're burying him. Well, you can't bury him around we here. We started wandering this way. Wait a minute, have you been... Some of my caches seem like they've been disturbed, was that you? Well, no. funny you should ask that. Is it? Well, I yeah, it is. laughing? Well, your mate Marl here was going crazy. I think it's like the mushroom spores or something like that, and he was digging up all the caches. Marl starts to stir. I oh. kick him. <laughs> Wait, what did you kick him for? Because he's crazed. He's taking too many of the spores from that red mushroom thing. Trying to wake him up. I'd knock him out if I were you. Cass, he says to one of the, the, the woman holding the rifle, check him. And she walks over. Cass bends down. She rolls him over. He's like, <sighs> she like slaps him a bit. Plays with his trunk, yanks his trunk a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, wake up, Mark! <laughs> he doesn't wake up yet. <sighs> what happened to him? What have you done to him? He looks like he's taken a... Cass says this. He looks like he's been hit. What have you done? Well, he was crazed, like I say, and he was uh, lashing out and attacking everything on sight, including our dear, beloved dead friend. Crazed? I was with him just moments ago before I went back to the... Yeah, yeah the spores, the take, they take over quick. You've got to be careful. Look at my hands. He like, she, like, pulls a rag up around her mouth, like... Okay. Yeah, cover up. We should be careful of the spores, I think. Yeah, you got to be worried about all your, like, caches and stuff. I wouldn't even touch them if I were you. Like, they're probably already... They might already be oh. infected. It's probably not worth even being in this area right persuasion now. Persuasion from you. Deception from you, in fact. No persuasion, please. No deception. Oh. <laughs> Is your face still bulbous from the yeah, previous I'm, thing? Yeah, I'm still messed yeah. up. Okay. Use that as an example. Nine plus six, fifteen. Yeah, should believe you. Um... Oh. Okay. We should probably step back to the beach area. Step back. Yeah. Oh, it's starting to take me over. You better stay away from me. Do we have to shoot? Should we shoot? No, 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 no not uh, yet. Not yet. Not yet. I'll just become stronger. There we oh, can... More biscuits. You've seen all the husks. They're dead and they're still alive. More biscuits. See? Like cup of tea. You shoot them as much as you want. They'll keep coming back. Would I've you got enough of these bloody husks around here, the, the captain says. It's a nightmare. We've just been trying to do some honest business. Well, business. What kind of business have you been up to? Just calm down a second. He's, he's fine. He's fine. <laughs> put it down. Put it down. The, the, the fear makes him worse. Just put it down. Hold on, I've got an ability. I cure wounds on myself. Ah! <laughs> the, the rashes recede. Can the I swelling my, fades. <laughs> can I dip my hands into that? I should have done that way earlier. <laughs> I just realised. The rashes recede. It fades. The redness fades. You look healthy and hale oh, once we might again. Be, can, do you reckon you can heal their friend as well? I could for a cost. Oh. All oh, right. Well, How much? Well, I don't do these services for free often. You know, we're a bit strapped, aren't we? Like that guy. No. Uh, you talking about Bootstrap Bill? Yeah. Yeah. But he does have some straps on. He's got a lot of straps. And he's there just like, he pulls his, he, he pings his straps and it lifts everything up. Over and <laughs> you know what it's like? <laughs> life on the seas? Oh, I know life on the seas very well. Oh, yes. Maybe I help your friend there? Seems quite useful carrying all these caches around. Oh, big old Marl, yeah, he's 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 certainly good for getting the carts on and off, yeah. We'll turn a blind eye to all this business going on. And we'll I just... expect so. You're not leaving this island alive. What? I'm threatening you. Huh. You seem to be the one that's outnumbered here. You and the turtle. How many more of you are there? 
Is this There's it? Five of them Because we've got an army back there. An army, you say? Yeah. Deception. More, <laughs> more tea. <laughs> Loads of him. And he just goes over, he walks up to you and just pushes you off. Get out of here! No! Oh, I just didn't 15. see. All right. <laughs> Maybe you do have an army. Maybe I got an army too. Maybe, Maybe you it's do. World War Mushroom Island. Maybe we've all got armies. Maybe and... everyone's got island uh, armies. Maybe we can just go our separate ways, no. as if nothing happens. Ma will be nice and healthy. Yeah. And we and get to keep putting stuff in the ground. You can keep putting stuff in the ground. We just take one of those things out of the ground as payment. For Maybe keeping your... I electrocute you with the power of a million suns! <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? That's right. He's not dead. I'm a wizard. What? I will crush you with the power of a billion suns. <laughs> what does that even mean? I will you with suns. the power of one trillion suns. The number keeps going up. It will keep going up until you leave us alone. Right, intimidation. <laughs> oh, we're so close. <laughs> He's unhinged. 13 plus one. That's 14. 14. Wow. wow. I don't want to test you, wizard, but don't test me either. All right, maybe he's not dead. <laughs> All right, what else have you been lying about? I bet the army's not true either. Oh, fuck off. The lots no, of no, dogs. Quick, grab this. The lots of dogs I waking up the mushroom. Now. What did you chuck? The mushroom, the helmet. <laughs> grab and that. He steps back. It's clean for your face. Rub your face upon it. <laughs> it bumps into his face and instantly starts to rash up. Ah, you yeah. bastard. That's not really dangerous. Place. Place. poisonous. Dangerous oh, poisonous. land we're living on. Dangerous. Dangerous. Now, Army, hold! We won't set them all on you if we just go our separate ways, all right? Behind you, in the bushes, you start to hear quite a lot of movement. Oh, fuck. Yeah, see? What the hell? Oh, the army's oh, coming. Oh, he's done it now, he oh, says to his, he says to his uh, fellow pirates. Bloody hell, he's done it now. They're awake. Oh, bloody hell. What? Our army's awake, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, They're gonna yeah. come and crush you Here like a thousand gods! And the pirate just starts laughing. He's just, ha, ha, ha. This isn't, that's not your army. That's no army. That's a hungry bloody mushroom. Yeah, oh, quite a few of them by the sounds of things. Uh, oh. You know what? You believe what you want to believe. They're coming from the place that you came from. Yeah. So it's you, the, the area of noise behind you, you, the pirates, the sea, their ship. Yeah, that's we're where wedged between. You're in between, mm. you're stuck between a rock and a mushroomy place. I'm gonna morning star him. <laughs> You're gonna no, try where is morning. it? How far is <laughs> no, it? Can we see it? Uh, R? Can we see this creature behind us? Can you see? Just you rustling. can see the movement behind you. See the bushes rustling. The, that's just our friend. And He's out come of here it. to greet us. <laughs> Steps. Four figures. Come forth, four friends. <laughs> Once come again, and greet you us and join us in the battle. The sight of Triton bodies, gone putrid and mouldy, mushrooms sprouting from all over them. But these mushrooms. And this putrid triton is not stumbling mindlessly. The mouth of these tritons have been morphed and changed to be that of what you saw on the thing that's now hanging in the tree nearby you. You threw, you threw away like a dustbin bag full of fish. <laughs> Instead, you see the putrid and the smell of zombified tritons. Their mouths agape in huge mushroomy grins, sharp teeth protrude, and they're looking hungry. And that is where we will end part one of session 12 of Booty, High Seas, Low Expectations. Join us next time to learn of the fate of an overconfident wizard, a previously rashed up hobgoblin, <laughs> and a turtle that just wants to play you a song. What a cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye. 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 Go on then. Go on then. <laughs> Go on then. Big, big Go wave. On. Big wave. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, 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 part two. Come and see the real fucking version online. Walk away the lines! <laughs>